Right you guys, got another video request here for you. This one was from one of my YouTube members. He's asked me, is there an easy way to block adult content on his computer? He says he's got a couple of young children and uh, is it possible an easy way of setting up uh, so they can't see any adult content? Well, there's a couple of ways or a few ways of going about um, uh, blocking this. You could either use software like NetNanny and stuff like that, or you can use DNS servers, or you can use um, Windows is a family safety uh, type of uh, setup as well. And I'll probably make a video on family safety. But in this one, we're just going to take a look at the DNS setup, which is a very easy way of doing this. There's a couple of options open, which are free. You've got Open DNS, and you've also got Norton Connect Safe. Okay, so we'll take a look at the Open DNS and uh, Norton Safe. I'll take a look at both of them for you. So if you click on the uh, personal here, this will open up uh, this window and you'll see a couple of options that you've got here. You've got OpenDNS for Home, uh, this is the free version and you can see it's their classic free service with customizable filtering and identity theft protection. And the other one is OpenDNS Family Shield which is uh, going to be pre-configured for you to block adult content. And all you'd need to do is click on this if you wanted to use this one or this one depending on what you want uh, and this will block a lot of porn and stuff like that and uh, adult violence you know like fighting and gambling and all that sort of stuff so you can see the two IP addresses here and you can see the home routers uh, computer workstations and laptops and smart devices this is the information for uh, these type of devices that you want to change now recommended it should be changed on the router and you can change the DNS on there and it will stop them from making changes back and they will be forced to uh, use that okay now uh, on in the UK if you're from the UK um, Virgin Media and BT uh, they don't allow you to do this in their routers that they give you, which they supply you. You'd have to buy a secondary uh, router of, of your own and then swap that out and then use that uh, to change the DNS at the router level. But you can change it on the computer level and I'll show you how to do that. Let's take a look at uh, Norton Computer Safe here. As you can see, it gives you the versions of Windows that uh, you can change it on. It works on Windows 10 as well. We're on Windows 10 here. And you can see on the top right hand side here, it says choose your protection policy. You can see there's a, a security um, which is just protect you against malware and uh, phishing sites and scam sites. Also, you've got B security, which is just uh, security and pornographic uh, material. And then you've also got the C uh, rating, which is for uh, security, pornographic and other. What the other is, I don't know. Uh, but it's probably going to be, uh, you know, gambling. And it says down here, as you can see here, gambling sites, hate, suicide, all that sort of stuff, tobacco, violence and whatnot. Um, so basically, you can set this up uh, as you want. We'll just say we'll, we'll just say the middle one for now. And uh, there's the IP addresses. So you just copy this I want first IP address. You can see the preferred and the alternative, alternative uh, DNS. We'll need both of those. So leave the window open and just drop it down. Come down to the bottom right hand side where it says internet access network. Right click on this and open up your network and sharing center. You can do this in control panel as well by opening up control panel and going to your uh, network and sharing center. Once you're here, you can see we have our connection, which is an Ethernet connection, which is a cable connection. If you had Wi-Fi or wireless, you can also change those as well if you wanted to. Um, to change the adapter settings, you can click on Change Adapter Settings, and then click on your connection, which you have here, and then go Properties. And inside this little window here, you're looking for the Internet uh, Protocol version for uh, TCP IP uh, version 4 and this is this one here you can either double click on it or just highlight it once click on it once and hit properties and this will open up your uh, panel here which you can make changes on now you can see down the bottom here this is your uh, obtain a DNS server address automatically this is going to be set to pull in the DNS server from your ISP which is your company that you buy or rent your internet uh, service provider from you know so if you want to make a change you can paste the first uh, code inside here open up uh, the window again and get the second one or you can write them down and copy them and type them in it's entirely up to you I'm I'm just lazy uh, so just type these and paste these in like so click OK click close close and then we can close this off and close it off 
now we've got that set now what we can do here now is we can open up a command prompt now you can either open up run if you're on Windows 7 you, you, you can open up a run on Windows 7 or you can type it in the search bar here and type CMD or you can if you're on Windows uh, 10 you can right click and open up a command prompt with admin just like so and then we're going to type in here IP config just like so and then space forward slash and we want to do flush DNS just like so and this is going to flush the DNS to make sure that it understands that we've uh, changed that and then it will now register that uh, it's now been flushed and we can now use that internet so now we can open up our window here so let me just close these off we don't need these anymore I will put those links in the description for you in the video description now really you really want to set up um, a family safety uh, account for a child account so it doesn't affect you in that way and this is another good way of doing it and I'll make another video to show you how to do that now once we get this open we're pretty much good to go here we can open up Google as you can see and now we should be protected uh, from all that nasty stuff now obviously there's no 100% uh, foolproof way of blocking all this by using this method uh, but it will do a damn good job of blocking uh, a good percentage of it they, you'd have to really sit there and go through uh, loads and loads of uh, sites and you would have to be knowledgeable of knowing them sites to do that to see what they are um, I'm not going to put those up here but it will block those uh, on there okay so that's basically how you can protect yourself from adult content uh, on your computer by using a DNS server. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to keep informed and keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any questions or any video requests or any problems with your computers, then you can head over to the forum uh, and join up over there. It's free to join. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you know where to uh, go there. The information is on the screen right now. Also, if you've got any questions here and you want to post them in the comment section, by all means, you can do that as well. And I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.